Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. The city of Flint is hosting a conference on sexual assault with the Flint Police Department Sexual Assault Kit Initiative. Now, Mayor Sheldon Neely and Police Chief Terrence Green gave welcoming remarks to attendees this morning. Uh, Flint has been a host of, of grants for quite some time. We have uh, detected and, um, and, and closed some cold cases around this area. The conference, which is called Standing Against Predators and Pedophiles, while honoring individuals' rights and empowering survivors or sapphires. It will feature training from experts from law enforcement, health care, victim advocacy, and mental health throughout the week. Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson says her home was targeted twice in a swatting attack last night. CBS Detroit reports Benson said the attacks occurred in the last 48 hours. This comes after Democratic Representative Alyssa Slotkin and former Representative Mike Rogers both were targeted by similar attacks. Michigan State Police do not have any information on those incidents at Benson's home. A former Bullock Creek Public Schools employee has pleaded no contest to three felony offenses involving minors on August 7th in Midland. Travis Scott O'Keefe is being charged with using a computer and or internet to communicate with a minor to commit a crime and two counts of accosting a child for immoral purposes. At the time of the offenses, O'Keefe was the middle school track coach and maintenance technician. Now here's Diane with your first alert forecast. We've had great weather to start out this work week, but we are tracking rain chances coming up in the next few days. So enjoy the sunshine while we have it, but we are first alerting you to that rainfall and the timing coming in a little bit quicker. Thursday, we did bump up those rain chances. You can see we're kind of in that scattered zone and then kind of getting up towards that numerous area once we get into Friday, but by Saturday, still sitting at a 40% might be a little bit tricky for your weekend plans. So let's dive into the hour by hour. We have the sunshine. Sunglasses are going to be necessary no matter what your plans are that take you outside. As we go overnight, we still will be finding though this evening, you can see this little green speck of rain trying to show up just east of Grand Rapids. Everybody across the lower peninsula has a chance of seeing a stray shower. Yesterday, we made it no problem with rainfall and I'm hoping to keep it that way for your plans tonight, but just have that TV 5 first solar weather app going. That's going to be a helpful tool if you notice, hey, that cloud looks a little bit dark. I'm going to check radar. Perfect. That's what you want to be doing tonight. As we head out the door tomorrow morning, you're going to see still full sunshine and that's going to hold for much of the day. We really don't see the cloud cover starting to pick back up until we get into lunchtime on Thursday and that that could become a little bit thicker earlier in the day because rain chances, though the hour by hour tries to keep the rain in for the first few hours of our Friday, kind of even knocking on the door there around 1, 2 a.m. Friday morning, I still anticipate this could hit the accelerator and we could have a little bit of an earlier arrival. So that is why we move those rain chances a little bit higher into Thursday. But before we get there, just enjoy the sun. We'll have temperatures in the low to mid 80s. Some of that humidity, you're probably feeling it slowly coming back and it will pick up as we go into the rainy time frame for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and even into Sunday. But hopefully by Monday, the system is saying farewell and we'll have just a little bit of lingering rain and hopefully yet a little bit of sunshine too. Remember to tune into WNEM TV5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.